Hi, I'm Amanda from Be More Fitness and uh, today we are going to be doing a yoga practice including the flamingo pose. Now the flamingo pose is actually a pose that has only recently just started hitting social media. I actually saw it for the first time about a month ago and we've been doing it in our classes. It's all quite exciting. So I hope you enjoy this one. It is a lot harder than it looks so we're going to start easy and build up from there but we're going to start on our backs today and if you've got a set of blocks have them available if you don't have blocks you can use a set of books like heavy thick books all right let's come down onto our back exhale roll all the way down we're going to start with our feet together and our knees open wide just opening up the hips now let's just close our eyes bring your hands to wherever feels most comfortable and we're going to take a moment to breathe. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, aiming to have the same length of breath as we breathe in as we exhale. As you breathe in, feel the world around you slowing down as you feel yourself surrendering to the calm, the peace and the quiet. This is always a good time to set an intention for your practice. Perhaps your intention is a physical one, maybe emotional. Whatever works for you today, whatever you feel you need in your life today. Take in one more deep inhale and as you exhale, close up the knees. Just gently and slowly being kind to your hips. And then pull the knees in towards the chest. As you exhale, take the knees over to one side of your body. Arms go in the opposite direction. As we come into this lower back rotation, stretching out the muscles. And just allow your body to sink into the stretch. We're going to exhale and bring the knees back over and now over to the other side as you take your arms in the opposite direction. And come back with your exhale. We're going to bring our right knee into the chest and extend it up towards the sky. Flex your foot and just rotate the ankle four or five times in each direction and then you're going to keep your foot flexed and cross it over your knee pushing your knee open thread the arms through flexing that other foot and pull both legs towards you and now if you want to do some little circles here feel free to Maybe you want to go in the opposite direction. And then gently release the legs, bringing your right leg down onto the ground. Left knee comes into the chest. Extend up to the sky, flex the foot. And when you're ready, just start with that motion of round and round, stretching out the ankle and increasing the stretch all through the back of your leg. Good, bring that ankle over your knee, push your knee open, flex both feet as you stretch through the legs, pull onto the thigh and pull the legs towards you. Again, if you want to go into some little circles here, feel free to.
Breathe deeply, feel that calm and gently release the legs. We're going to extend both legs down onto the ground, reach your arms up overhead and I'm going to roll up to come into a seated position but of course you come up any way that you feel you would like to. Good. Cross your ankles over and roll over the legs, bringing your hands down onto the ground as we come into a tabletop. Now make sure to support the lower back by pulling the ribs in, push the ground away, tummies in, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're going to take our right leg to the back, extending it up, lift through the body and extend the leg and the head as far as you can. Now, if and when you are ready, extend your left arm forward, feeling that reach, spreading the fingers and spreading the toes, still pushing the ground away and elongating the back of your neck. One more breath. And exhale, bring the hand and then the knee down. Let's come over to the other side. So bring your leg in line with your hips and your shoulders. When you feel ready, extend the right arm forward, reaching and really trying to stretch out the body in the opposite directions. Keep supporting the lower back as you extend the neck, breathing deeply. And exhale, bring the hand and then the knee down. Let's come into cat and cow. So inhale, reach the chest up. And exhale, roll out that spine. Feel that stretch all down the spine. Inhale, lift. So just work with your breath here, working at a pace that is good for you at the rhythm of your individual breath. And let's just do one more. We're going to come straight up into a downward facing dog. So tuck your toes under at the back. Push up through the hands and the feet. So getting the weight evenly disp dispersed between the hands and the feet. Spread your fingers. Push into the fingertips as you lift your hips. And feel free to bend your knees as much as you need to as we come in to walk the dog. Now there's actually a lot of things to think about when we're in a downward facing dog. So focus on pulling the shoulders away from your ears right now. So pull the shoulder blades together and down towards your hips. Good. As you start to feel those muscles easing up a little bit, maybe start to incorporate some hip movements, feeling that stretch through the body, through the hips. Good. Now let's lift up two heels, bend the knees and look at your hands as you step forward to your hands and just hang between the legs here, bringing your hands up towards the elbows. Feel free to either sway side to side or forward and back or perhaps you'd just like to hang nice and still. But close your eyes maybe and bring your Shoulders right up towards your ears, so just let gravity grab every part of your upper body and pull it down towards the earth. Breathe deeply. And then gently release the arms as we inhale, reach the head forward into a tabletop. And exhale, Udanasana. Inhale, table. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your head forward, elongate the spine. Exhale, fold. And with your next exhale, so hold for your inhale. And then on your next exhale, roll up through the spine, allowing the arms and the head to hang heavy. Reach the arms up overhead. And exhale, hands come to your heart. Inhale, reach up, lift the heart. 
lead with the chest as you follow it all the way down hands come down to the ground and step your feet back into a plank and lower your knees down to the ground as we do three push-ups now keep the elbows close to the body as you exhale lead with the chest and inhale push back up two more one more Good, now let's lower all the way down to the ground. Exhale, inhale into a mini cobra. So squeeze the elbows together, elongate the neck, release and then push up onto all fours. Tuck your toes under and push straight up into your downward facing dog. Push your heels down, squeeze the shoulder blades together. As you try and bring your ears in line with your biceps, pushing your chest through your shoulders. Now, as this is now the second downward facing dog, you may want to focus a little more on straightening out the knees and pushing the heels down. As the back is the priority though, so keep the back straight and then work on straightening out the legs. Good, on your next inhale, let's lift up the right leg to the back, bend the knee, pull the knee in towards your nose as you step all the way forward and Bring the back knee down towards the ground. Make sure that your heel is directly underneath your knee and then we're going to rock the hips back, reaching the chest for the toes, straightening out that front leg and then push straight back into that right knee. Hinge those hips as far forward as you can as we come forward here. So push forward and we've got one more. And come back. Now use your front leg to help come up into a balance, still pushing your hips forward and push into your back foot so that you aren't putting all your weight onto your knee. Reach your arms forward and as we exhale, we come into a cactus pose. Pull those elbows back, lift up the chest. Inhale, lift up the arms, keep the chest up high. Exhale, hands come down to the ground, tuck your toes under and push up into your long lunge. Good, push that right foot to the back, lower the knees as you exhale all the way down. Inhale, mini cobra. Exhale down, transition through the knees, tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Lift up the hips. With your next inhale, let's reach up the left leg, bend the knee and step all the way forward, double checking that the heel is underneath the knee as always. Unravel the toe, hinge the hips back, reach for the foot and push back. You've got two more. Excellent. Come up into your balance, reach the arms up, and of course use that front leg to support you if you need to. Come into your cactus, lifting the heart, pushing forward through the legs as you pull your elbows as far back as you can. Inhale, lift the arms, keep the heart up as you exhale, hands come down to the ground. Tuck the toe under at the back, push up into your forward lunge, step the left leg to the back. If you are ready, rock over the wrists as you exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale into Cobra and exhale, downward facing dog. Good, lift up the hips, push the heels to the ground. With your next inhale, reach the leg up. Exhale, bend the knee and step all the way forward. And here we're going to stay. Now, if you need to drop your back knee, feel free to. Otherwise, lift up the hips, reach the chest for the toes. And push back down. We're coming into a balance. Reach the arms up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take the arms behind the back. Interlace your fingers, reaching down towards that back leg. Squeeze the shoulders together. And then if you can, take the eye line up towards the sky. 
reach just a little further before releasing the arms inhale up exhale rotate into warrior two palms come up as we inhale lift exhale down create a bit of a resistance with the arms here inhale lift exhale down we have one more inhale lift exhale down bring your hand down to the leg as we come down into a peaceful warrior push into the legs and windmill the arms all the way around hands come to the floor step that right leg to the back exhale through chaturanga inhale cobra exhale down dog breathe deeply and with your next inhale lift up the left leg exhale step that left leg forward rock the hips back reach the chest for the toes and we're just going to hold here for a little while breathing deeply enjoying the stretch and then push back forward come into your balance inhale reaching the arms up as high as you can push down into the legs as much as possible so we're working those legs squeeze the shoulder blades together as you reach your arms towards that back leg lifting heart and eye line up towards the sky reach the arms a little further before reaching up inhale exhale come into your warrior pull that right shoulder back palms are up and we inhale lift exhale warrior two inhale lift exhale warrior two we've got one more and exhale good let's come into our peaceful warrior and windmill your arms all the way around hands come to the floor step that left leg to the back as you rock over the wrists exhale through chaturanga inhale cobra exhale downward facing dog lift up your heels bend your knees look at your hands and step the feet forward hang between the legs and as you inhale reach the head forward into your table exhale fold inhale lift the heart exhale feel yourself sinking giving into gravity inhale lift exhale hold for your inhale and as you exhale roll up through the spine at the top take your inhale lifting your heart and exhale find your breath find your balance inhale reach your arms lead with the chest as we swallow dive down hands come to the floor now step back into a plank or if you are ready hop the feet into a plank supporting the lower back ensuring that you don't dip good exhale through chaturanga meet up and downward facing dog with your next inhale reach the right leg up exhale bend the knee and step all the way forward lift up the hips reach the chin for the toes and push back down now keep the hands on the floor as we lift the back leg into a standing splits so you're going to transfer all the weight onto your right leg as you hold here now we're going to come into a half moon so bring one hand down onto the ground as you roll the top hip that left hip back towards the the wall behind you open up the heart the chest have the full body looking towards me and if you are ready for an extra challenge when you've got that balance you're going to take your eye line up to the top hand bring your hand down to the ground and step that foot back 
as we come into our balance. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands come behind the back. Grab hold of your elbows as you lift up the chest. Find that stretch through the front body. Release the arms. Inhale up. Exhale into warrior two. Palms up. Keep that front leg bent as we inhale. Exhale lower. Keep that resistance in the arms. Inhale reach. Exhale lower and one more. Inhale. Exhale, come into a peaceful warrior. Windmill the arms all the way around. Hands come to the floor. Step your right foot to the back as you rock over the wrists. Exhale, through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Down Dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, bend and step all the way forward, coming deep into this lunge. Lift up the hips, reach down over your front leg, feeling that lovely stretch all through the back of this leg. And push forward. Keep your hands on the ground as we step up off that back leg into a standing splits. And if and when you are ready, bring your left hand to the ground as you open up your hip, open up your shoulders, and we come into a half moon. And then that added challenge, when your balance feels good, is to take your eye line up to your top hand. When you're ready, Bring the hand back down, step back with your right leg, reach your arms up, inhale, push down into the legs, exhale, hands come behind the back, hold on to the elbows as you open up the chest, up towards the sky, push down into your legs, open the chest, reach the arms up, inhale, lift, exhale, warrior two. Keep your legs bent as we inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and let's come into a peaceful warrior. Windmill your arms all the way around, hands come to the floor. Step your left leg to the back as you exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Lift up your heels, bend your knees and either step, hop or float forward. Roll up through the spine. Inhale at the top and exhale, hands to heart. Take a moment again to find your breath. To reconnect with your intention. To take note of how you're feeling physically and emotionally without dissecting the purpose behind any of those feelings. Just taking notes so that you know what's happening within your body. We're going to be coming into our flamingo pose shortly. So make sure that you've got your blocks close by. Inhale, lift up the arms. Exhale, lead with the chest. Hands come to the ground. Step or hop back into your plank. Exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. With your next inhale, let's reach the right leg up to the back. Exhale, bend the knee and step all the way forward between your hands, dropping the hips. Now lift up the hips, keeping the feet parallel. And we're going to come into a flamingo pose from here. Now you've got several options. Bring your blocks right up to your front leg. 
fingers pointing to the back leg. Bend your back knee as you step it towards the front leg and you bring the knees together and you lift up your back leg. Now this is the easiest version of it. So if you feel you can go a little bit more, then you're going to push the blocks further away or you're going to try with no blocks at all, reaching your fingertips as far back as possible and trying to keep your front leg at a 45 degree angle. Push down into your legs, push into the hands, step it back, exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, lift up that left leg. Exhale, bend and step forward. Drop the hips nice and low before lifting up, reaching over that front leg. Now we're coming into Flamingo again. So choose the option that you did earlier and then come up into Flamingo. Push the hips down, step that leg back. Exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Push your hips back into Child's Pose as you reach the arms as far forward as you can, breathing deeply. Focus your mind. Feel your body melting away into the ground. You can stay here, just breathing deeply, or if you would like to have a guided meditation or shavasana, I will add the video link right here for you and you can do a guided meditation which will take about 10 minutes. Thank you for joining me for your practice today. I will see you again next week. Namaste.